we understand what that means. Let's move on, y'all. We're running out of time. Go ahead, brother. This is my command. Uh -huh. that you love one another as I have loved you. Right. See, and that's the kicker. As what? I have loved you. The most high say, and I have loved you. When y'all kept this over there, I had to cast y'all out. If we don't understand these things, you may have to separate yourself from somebody to keep from killing. Or from them killing you. Go ahead, brother. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. See, mm. now the deal is, what is a friend? See, that's what we got to get some understanding of. Uh, but friends don't tell secrets. But when you find yourself, I know. Man, you ain't gonna tell nobody, is you? You lost your friendship. Once you go there, if it's the right thing, we're not talking about hiding murder. Not those things. A friend is telling you something in righteousness. He's letting it know to you, look, this is for your ears only. Hold your peace on this. This is all about the scripture. Holding your peace on certain things. This is this not talking about every secret thing on rap said. The secret things of righteousness will be made open to the world. For them to see. And then they're like, oh, that's cause we did such and such. So when it say a friend that tell a secret, no, that ain't the kind of friend you need. Because that friend is why. What's we got in? We got that in the in the apartment. We're gonna get that as well. But read some more. Oh friends. Ye are my friend. 37 of that. Yeah. Hold on, I'll tell you, hold that. Somebody give me Sirach chapter 37. So we can just go through that right here right, and understand a free. Put up your pocket and y'all hear up on the screen. Close to you and did these things. 
You know, that's a grief unto death because you're thinking about it. my mindset. I got to get even with who grew up with me. I got to treat him like I would Hitler if he stomped up in here and them Russian roots. I got to think about him like that. Go ahead. Verse 3. Y'all just on the board for y'all don't have a pocket. Oh, wicked imagination. Oh, what? Oh, wicked imagination. See, it says that's a wicked imagination. Go ahead. Whence camest thou in to cover the earth with deceit? With what? Deceit. See, you're covering the earth with deceit. Go ahead. Verse 4. There is a companion which rejoiceth in the prosperity of a friend, but in the time of trouble will be against him. See, so what kind of friend is that? A farewell. Farewell. Look, you hit the line up. What's up, dog? What's up? Five slapping horn. Real horn. <laughs> huh? You see all of the gifts? I mean, with turn Larry's skin on. <laughs> What's up, friend? Go ahead. Knock Flim out your back. <laughs> We just got paid. Right. We. We. Right. Right. I got about two hundred dollars. <laughs> Verse five. What is it? There is a companion which helpeth his friend for the belly. For the what? For the belly. Uh huh. And taketh up the buckler against the enemy. So what are we talking about? Verse six. See, a friend for the belly, y'all. Understand what that means. All sicknesses is in the name. When he talks about that. See, there's a sickness in the world because in the navel of planet Earth is Jerusalem. And there's a sickness in that. Because of those who's running it. There's a sickness in Jerusalem. And it, who leads the world in the gay parade? Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv. There's a sickness in the navel of the world. So in the belly of a friend, a companion to Joyce, but there's a companion to help his friend for the belly. Look, if you can't lift nobody up, a lot of times chicken soup and $20 may just not get it done. It's got to be what's got them double over. That spirit is in contention about something. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. Verse 6 again. Wait a minute. Verse, yeah, right. verse 5. There is a companion which helpeth his friend for the belly and taketh up the buckler against the enemy. Mm. Forget not thy friend in thy mind mm. and be not unmindful of him in thy riches. What's that mean? Mm. Don't forget about him when you come up. And see this if he spirit, helped you, spirit, help you, help him. you come back up, don't forget him. Yo, we always got to think spirit first. If we don't, we're going to fall into idol worship. Because you're telling him that's how I can return the favor for you. But when you have a friend in his belly, yes, feed the man, but Christ fed them with the spirit first. That's right. And then ate food. Because we got Proverbs 30 20, such as an adulterous woman, Israel. Yeah. She yeah. eateth and wiped her mouth. What mouth did she wipe? She said she done no wrong. She said she done no wrong. Uh -huh. Let's go. Yeah. Verse 7. Uh -huh. Every counselor extolleth counsel, but there is some that counseleth for himself. Mm -hmm. Beware of a counselor and know before what need he had, for he will counsel for himself. See, what does that mean, he will counsel for himself? <laughs> what are you doing? If all the advice he's giving you. What do you think it's for? Now see, I heard you in the rehab. I just want to tell you what's the righteous thing you don't. See, I have just ain't been able to get correct all the way. But you you had the lotto winners and my building is turned out. But look, I got you back. <laughs> but see, I've been trying to get them storm windows and you got that extra money. And boy, you know, when we was in kindergarten together, I knew <laughs> I'm counseling for his own self. For his own benefit. Go ahead, bro. Lest he cast the lot upon thee. See, lest he cast the lot for you. He's counting your money. He's counting your riches. He's gambling off of what you're going to say. 
is you're going to take in, we've been knowing each other since the fifth, since kindergarten. Or preschool, some of us been knowing each other. Old school call it pre primer pre Since pre primer I've been knowing you. What does that have to do with righteousness? Go ahead. Verse 9. Uh -huh. And say unto thee, thy way is good. And afterward, he stand on the other side to see what shall befall thee. Do y'all see that? What kind of friend is this? Look, if I, if I was you, look, I don't care about he got this kind of connection. He done you wrong, but you go in broad daylight in front of the school. Yeah! When he dropped his children off. That's what I would do. And then stand on the other side and see if he don't do it. Yeah. He's actually pulling that out in front of the school. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Pull, told him. Pulling a Miss C off a of color purple. You know what I'm I just want to see what color the wall going to be. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, that's the truth. Verse 10. Consult not with one that suspecteth thee, mm. and hide thy counsel from such as envy thee. So, suspecting you of what? Mm. If somebody thinking you no good, I mean, what, how you gonna get counsel from them? Mm. Unless you're trying to hide something. Mm. He suspects you already. You the only one here, and the wallet was on the dress. <laughs> <laughs> you the only one here, and the wallet on the dress. Go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. oh. Verse 11. What it say? Neither consult with a woman touching her of whom she is jealous, mm. neither with a coward in matters of war. See, it says, why right. you are spinning your wheels? Talk to a coward about some warfare. See, what he goes to do? Right. But well, Sarah Knight Chapter tell us about women don't be rival of a jealous of another of a rival. So if you consort with one that you're plotting on somebody else with them. Neither a coward in the matter of war. Look, if every time he got on his running shoes, when you talking about <laughs> war. And y'all, this is spiritual walk. We finna hit it on the other side of the block. We finna spread the word of the Lord. He got on his running shoes. I got a few things I got to take care of. I got to make a few runs. You first. You start. You don't this walk. Go ahead, bro. Verse 11. Neither consult with the woman touching her of whom she is jealous. Neither with a coward in matters of war, nor with a merchant concerning exchange, nor with a buyer of selling, nor with an envious man of thankfulness. Mm. How, look, boy, the Lord is dealing with you. I can't stand you. The Lord is dealing with you. Oh, boy, it's so nice, man. Yes, the Lord is really blessing you. <laughs> <laughs> Cursing you at the same time is envious. It's not because I don't want to do what you're doing. Now, it, the, the counselors become envious, and we should be able to discern that. You should be able to hear the words coming out of their mouth, whether they mean this or not. Yes. The prayer, you just showed up for me. Look, y'all, there's even a, a, a more spiritual praise out there. When you hear somebody come, man, y'all still down there? Man, my yeah. life is bad. I need to get back down there. For right. <laughs> what is it about down there? Right. Who right. is the building? Right. right. That don't start with you first. I need to get down. You think you want to go through the door and there's a washing that come on? That's so, true. So you I got to get back down. Man, I got to get back down. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> oh, man. All right. And a buyer of selling, nor with an envious man of thankfulness, nor with an unmerciful man touching kindness. See, y'all, y'all got to be, and look, y'all, this is one that plagues us with a lot of us being chemical entrepreneurs, past life, or maybe hanging on to it. 
but he's a good dude, man. Man, he, when we were little, but he's, he's poison in the community. You, you got to understand that, to come up, baby, off your cuss. And he finna get killed by somebody. Yeah, he a good dude, but he chosen to earn it. Not the way the Lord said it. Right. He said, do it where you can sleep at night. He's having a rough time sleeping. What you worried about? Snitches. Feds. Jack Rock. <laughs> but he's a good dude. He may be a good dude in the flesh as you know him, There's but his dude. thought process, he's envying the oppressor. You want to be like Oliver North, bring all the drugs in? Who is what? Like the line for that freeway? You yeah. envy the oppressor. Yeah, he is a oh, Escobar. Oh, you want to be just like them and flood the same community. Right. Just like the warlocks and magicians in Egypt when Moses put the plagues on them of the Lord. We can do that, and they put the plagues on of the Lord. They do the, repeat the same river. So now instead of 10 million flies, you got 20 million flies now, and they, and they think the battle is about who can produce what's destroying Egypt. <laughs> That's wicked. We turn blood, the rivers in the blood, you do it. No drinking water in the orbit with that. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> nor with the unmerciful man touching kindness, nor with the slothful for any work. See, yo, we got to be careful about that. What? If you know that this person you dealing with, if you had to go to home for him yesterday and he rides with you, you have to think about that the next day. Great. <laughs> Great. I mean, it ain't no point at nobody. It's just the fact that she, are you up early? You got to be up early for this while you can work in the day. If we had to argue with you, man, we finna run over here, man, need some uh, help, man, need a second witness, man, finna go over here. And every time their slothfulness, they start coming up with excuses, man, I need to make my socks in. <laughs> make my socks in. Slothful for any work, nor with an hireling for a year of finishing work, mm. nor with an idle servant of much business, hearken not unto these in any manner of counsel. See, idle servant of much business, he knows about everything. What? Put it in the not know about that. What? Yeah. all, I know about that. What? But he's idle. We ain't never, we don't never see him doing it. But he always knows <laughs> But be continually with a godly man. Be continually with who? With a godly man. See, iron sharpened his iron. See, and godly men go look out for the poor first in spirit. This don't mean we just godly men hanging around. Godly men, the Pharisees do that. Preachers hang around preachers. Right, right. What we're talking about, godly men, is looking out for the poor in spirit first. Man, I broke these brothers off over here, man. Look, you know, they like the way they get down, man. They come into class next week. That's godly men are looking for more men to bring into this fold. If you ain't looking for that, if it's worn, we going over here to cut them off, and there's no recovery in your talk. Right. Ain't no uplifting in it. We just going to slay. Them chatties. Willing to roll with me. Right. <laughs> Come to me to this chop session. <laughs> are, you, are you quick for a chop Who session? Who wants y'all to have about 40 minutes? Who ain't going to chop this in? Where we at? 
whose mind is according to thy mind. I'm going to read that again. But be continually with the godly man, whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. See, what's going to determine who a godly man is? We just came from John 15. So your friend have to be a godly man to keep. Have we seen flesh color in this yet? No, we haven't. It ain't going once. Whose mind is according to thy mind. See, like mind is people. How can two walk together unless they agree? If all I hear is you talking about a jack boots all the time, what am I going to be eating? A jack <laughs> boots. Look, at it. it's only going to be one or two times the Lord's Spirit is able to tell that envious man, let me out the car, dog. No, I'm going to tell last week. You ride this time. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Uh, whose mind is according to thy mind and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. See, sorry for you if thou shalt miscarry. Look, y'all, we miscarry in life on a lot of things. Something was right there, and it got snatched away. Right there in grass, and it got snatched away. Let's think about this boy who just, not to water it down to that, but the boy coming out of college. Oh, missing from a child, make it to the NBA. Guess what? Make it to the draft, and guess what they say? You got disease. You can't see. If you can't see, you can't play basketball. How you gonna protect the rock? You can't see. So they give them a mock draft and say we're gonna draft you, but there's no contract. You're right there, and it gets snatched away from you. So y'all, a friend like that will come to you and say, I understand, but all hope ain't lost. The most high, the God on high still got your back, bro. Right out. Man, this ain't nothing that may not been for you. You know how you was making it drizzle at the strip club a few seconds you had? <laughs> now, you put an NBA contract in your hand? That boy said drizzle. <laughs> boy, not rain, but I look. Look, a lot of these people, they get crazy with money. It's just that crazy spirit of not keeping the commandment with a bunch of a money. A bunch of spirit. Go ahead, bro. Verse 13. And let the counsel of thine own heart stand. For there is no man more faithful unto thee than it. What is that saying? What is that saying? Yeah. Trust who first? Trust who? Trust yourself first. Mm -hmm. Would I do that? And why is he asking me to do this? Right. Now, is that a contradiction? Though? That's what a lot of people who study a lot of that like, man, it says the heart is deceitfully wicked. Above all things, is that in the same context? Is this a double talk right here? It's not. It's not. You know why? Because it was told what the friends were. They keep what? So if you keep them, you can't let no man judge me because what's going to be next? Oh, nigga, you like that. And you remember when me and you hit Jason's market on today and now you're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> See, so if you got your mind on the Lord and we told you to go through evil, evil ain't gonna be, it's gonna be some correction. Come on, bro, we need like that. Right. Look, now I got some things I can find to get you through to this time, but we can't pull that. Right. We can't pull that. Not my faith. Go ahead. Verse 14. What does that For a man's mind is sometime want to tell him more than seven watchmen mm. that sit above in a high tower. And above all this, pray to the Most High. Pray to who? To the Most High, that he will direct thy way in truth. See, a man's mind wants to tell him that he got somebody always watching his back. Mm. Man, my boys, man. What was your boys when they rolled up? Mm. Look, right when the bullets start flying, what you think the bodyguard going to do? Uh, write this down, 1 John chapter 2, it coincides with that. It coincides with what it's saying with that right there. 
It says, and above all this, pray to the Most High that he would direct thy, thy way in truth. That's why it says, you know, lean to the Holy Spirit. Christ said he was going to lead the Holy Ruach that was going to lead you into all truth. So if you believe that, then you believe you can be instructed by God. Right. James chapter 1, verse 1 through 4. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God. Let him do who? Ask God. Who yes. gives it to all men liberally and upgraded not. But you got to ask in faith. What faith you asking in? That's that right. Christ is the son that came to die for the remission of sins, the propitiation to give back to the Father. That's right. right. Just like that. It's plain and simple. Like that. See, if somebody come to you, what's this man that's a sack? These are my personal belongings. I got to go take care of some business. Man, do you have to take it? Man, I got to take care of the brother. Don't do so. Brother, I got to take care of this business. Hear this. If you hear this, mm. then do this with that. Mm. If a brother is set on course like that, and you give an instruction, you understand it, but he's not as you want to come go with me to do this. If you ask somebody to come go with you to do this, and you know he got family over here, he got this going on, go, this may be happening. You, you ain't got no responsibility he's got. And you ask him to go talking about a favor of what we was out of the knowledge. Mm. When I save you from skillet in his pockets, go <laughs> get skillet in his pockets. <laughs> Y'all know who it is. Y'all done watch Cooley now. Yeah. Skill. Skill. I'm telling you, they took them to the podium grab how they jumped out of that car and was running from that door. No, that was some IG action. Yeah. <laughs> they have done that before. Verse 16. Let reason go before every enterprise. Let what go before every enterprise? Let reason. Go before every enterprise uh -huh. and counsel before every action. See, right there, what it's saying. So what is that saying, y'all? Think about what somebody's asking you to do or you're about to do. Think about the consequences down the road. Right. Me pulling this jack move, and I'm going to have to do this every day because this little bit of change is going to run out. I'm jacking in together. How much do I expect to get? Uh, I'm not going to do this this is why they give you life without parole when you rob a mom and pop store. Because you don't have to keep robbing mom and pop. It's only to run about if he made that. Poor that oppress the poor is like a sweeping rain. What does it say to him? The poor that oppress the poor is like a sweeping rain. Go ahead. Yeah, read that. Read that. Verse what? Verse 17. Yeah. The countenance is a sign of the changing of heart. Uh -huh. Four manner of things appear. See, this is how you're able to judge too. So the most I say, well, I can't hold these to be read minds that the devil works. He said the countenance changed because the countenance is governed by the spirit of being evil or righteous. The countenance expresses that. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know when y'all have been slipped. Yeah. In communication classes, they teach you that 75% of human communication is nonverbal. Yeah. So it ain't what you're saying out your mouth, that, but it's what you so mean. Tell it. it's, it's the subtlety of it. It's, it's like you can say, sir, and really not mean respect. I can say, okay, sir, that right. only means respect. <laughs> that, that's right. Like, it's all in connotation. So if you're looking at the countenance of a person, you pretty much know where they're going to come from. Yeah. That's where the discerning of the thoughts and the intents of the heart come in because if you in touch with that Holy Spirit, you'll be able to see it right off. Like he's gonna come with some, that's how brothers are able to say, next thing he gonna do is forsake the Bible. And then it happened. That's how you can say that and somebody be like, yeah, hey, God, did you say that? Again? Because the countenance was looking like the this. countenance I'm was about changed. To show what this is a crap. And when you're looking like this, and that lips turn up. <laughs> Or is he Sylvester Stallone? Uh, yeah, yeah. One. <laughs> <laughs>
Go ahead. It's, it's what happens, y'all. They count and they show. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. the whispering behind it and the look yeah. of deception on the. We know that look. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 18. That's going to fit it. Go that. Go ahead. Four matter of things appeared. Good and evil. What? Good and evil. So y'all, we know what will happen in the garden is.